far we've understood what conditional probability is and seen a practical example wherein we use the conditional probability to predict the outcome of an event. Now in this video, we are going to solve an example based on it. If a family has two children, then what is the probability that both children are girls given that in the first case at least one is a girl and in the second case the youngest one is a girl? Also, we have to assume that each child born is equally likely to be a boy or a girl. Now here we have to find the conditional probability for both these cases. So let's begin. First, we will write down the sample space. We will represent the elder child with a capital letter and the younger one with a small letter. There can be a total of four possibilities. Both the children are girls. The elder one is a girl but the younger one is a boy. It can also be that the elder child is a boy and the younger one is a girl or both the children are boys. This is a sample space, a list of all possible outcomes prior to knowing any given facts or conditions. Now if you are asked to find the probability such that both the children are girls, then there is only one possibility out of the four. Hence, this probability will be 1 by 4. But we've not been asked this regular probability. What we are asked is the conditional probability that both children are girls given the condition that at least one is a girl. Which means if we know that at least one of the children is a girl based on this known condition, what's the probability that both children will be girls? Now let E be the event that both the children are girls and F be the event that at least one is a girl. Hence, we need to find the probability of E given F. Now the probability of E given F is equal to P of E intersection F upon P of F. Let's find out P of E intersection F first. The event E intersection F is the intersection of the events when both the children are girls and when at least one is a girl. Hence, there will be only one element in the intersection. Now, what about P of F? The event F will have all those possible outcomes where at least one child is a girl. Hence, the sample set will be written as shown. Now that we have the sample sets ready, let's find out the probabilities. P of E intersection F will be the number of possible outcomes of E intersection F by the number of total possible outcomes. This will be equal to 1 by 4. Similarly, P of F will be equal to 3 by 4. Hence, P of E given F will be equal to 1 by 4 by 3 by 4, which is equal to 1 by 3. Hence, the probability that both children are girls, given that at least one of them is a girl, is equal to 1 by 3. Now, similarly, you can solve for this second case. So, give it a try and post your answers in the comment section below. In the next video, we shall see one more important question based on conditional probability. So, see you in the next one.